Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Amaranthine, and today I want to talk to you about The Division. So let's first ask ourselves, what kind of game is The Division exactly? If you look at the game's wiki page, you'll find that it's a third-person shooter with a multiplayer mode. Um, there's no single player whatsoever, because that's... well, that's the trend so far. Um, essentially, it's trying to be like Destiny with more of a hard-on for co-op play. Like, um, if you try and do the missions all by yourself, it's not necessarily a walk in the park. Then again, it's sort of dependent on the gear that you collect and whatnot. Unless you've been um, living under a rock, um, games seem to be publishing more under that um, viewpoint now. Making everything, you know, co-op, force everyone together, make them all chummy. However, this doesn't go over so well in the uh, online world. People will feel more free to let their inner deck shine. This was made incredibly noticeable on the first day of the game's release, where players were forced to create lines just to move forward and actually start playing the game. It was... Yeah, I spent four, no not four, two hours in a queue just to activate my character. And then you had things like people standing in doorways blocking the exit just because. Outside of the gameplay um, mechanics and all that, the division also has a large lack in security. Also what that means is you can cheat get your um, ammo to be infinite, as well as all your credits and whatnot. So uh, how that works is the um, information is stored client side, and is then transmitted towards the um, server, and the server looks at it and goes, ah, oh, everything's fine. I personally hope that this is creating like a false sense of security where people feel free to hack the shit out of the game and they slowly work in an anti-cheat banning just a huge blanket of people then of course forcing them to have to create a new account buy the game again so they can improve their sales uh, the division is somewhat unimpressive Sure, the streets feel authentic and realistic, like some shit has really gone down. However, the visuals are something from, I want to say 2012, not from 2016. But there's only a small chink in, um, well, in the armor. The only enemies are the cleaners and some rioters. Bosses are the same, only they have more health. It's really, really underwhelming, considering if a entire city was to descend into absolute chaos, more than three factions would emerge. The uh, street life is actually pretty nice to see, you know, you're walking down the roads and whatnot, and there's rats running across the ground now and then. You can walk past a flock of birds and they go flying off. But you've also got the dogs, and they appear to be an afterthought. They seem to be less detailed. And they serve no purpose other than barking. The uh, PvP side, which is the Dark Zone, it's... yeah. When you listen to people saying that the Dark Zone is hard and you're going to get murdered a lot. I went in with the mindset that that was going to happen and I was going to lose everything. So I went in and I had all my good stuff stored in my stash, expecting to lose it all. However, I died in the dark zone and there was no real consequence. Sure, my um six Dark Zone items which I'd collected were left on the ground for anyone to pick up and uh, I was able to go back and recollect them with little to no hassle 
my first encounter with um, players in the Dark Zone was one that actually caught me by surprise. No one shot at each other, even without communication, everyone was banding together to get their shit out. It, it really, um, yeah, it really shocked me because I've played games like DayZ where it, it's shoot on sight. The real question is, uh, once it's all said and done, what replayability is there for The Division? And honestly, there's very little. When you're playing The Division and you finish it, all the missions are done, you have to go back and redo them at a higher difficulty. There's just nothing other than that. You can jump into the Dark Zone, but that's only for PvP, and it, it just seems like everyone's waiting for the Season Pass. So, unlocking new areas through the Season Pass. So, no, The Division overall isn't a good game, and it sure as hell isn't worth buying the Season Pass for.